Hello. Good morning. Is it morning? It is morning for us. But, it, you yeah. may not be seeing this in the morning, but we are glad to be back. Yes, Anthony and Cheryl Nelson from Faith Five Fellowship of Ministries with Faith Bite. Mm -hmm. You've been seeing some reruns if you've been following us. Mm -hmm. And we were off serving in the community together mm -hmm. for the past six weeks. Yes, six weeks. And it was great. It was fun mm -hmm. serving at a camp together mm -hmm. with young adults and children. Mm -hmm. It was great. Amen. You know, it was an incredible time for us. And so today we'll be doing a part one and a part two. But we want to thank all of you who prayed, all who gave to make this an incredible time for all the young people, all the staff, and all the community. Thank you for being part of Faith Five as we continue to serve the generation that we are part of. Okay, so Faith Bite. And guess what? Making room for God is so important in this time. We cannot be packing things onto what we already have. We use the ver we know the verse that says, you know, you can't put new wine in old wine skin, but we're taking it a little further today. That's truth. That is true. But we want to make room for God. How do we do that? Now if we intend to make room for God, remember, we're talking about faith. Yes. So, we, and we know without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes. Without faith, we cannot receive salvation, walk out the God's blessing. There is nothing you get into the kingdom of God without having faith to believe what God says. That's right. But you have to make room to hear God's voice. Yes. This is so powerful because we're trying to hear God's voice in the midst of our own emotional turmoil, our own voice, the voice of people around us. Wow. We need to begin to desire to make room for God's voice in order for our faith to be built up. Yes. Because remember now, you can't build faith without hearing God's voice. <laughs> and God's voice cannot be one of the voices. That's he has right. to be the main voice. That's right. He has to be the voice that rises above everything in my life. So I need to make room for him. When I got married and I, I, I invited Cheryl to come join my life, I had to make room for Cheryl. Yes. I couldn't have everybody else's voice talking to me. I couldn't be talking to this person, that person. So when we moved in together, she moved in. Mm. She, didn't, she, she didn't just come now and then, she moved in. <laughs> so her voice becomes the voice that this man speaks to and hears. Yes. It is the same in our walk with God. Yes. It is the same in the kingdom. God's voice must rise above every other voice and we need to make room for him. And so Colossians chapter 3, Sister Cheryl. Okay. And I know a lot of us read yes. this passage. I'm going to read a part, I think about verse 5 or so. And then I'm going to jump all the way down to verse 8. You know, that is so against who I am. You know mm -hmm. that, but mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. When Christ is your life, who is your life is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. So we have got to put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within us. And now I'm going to move right down to verse 8 that says, But now is the time mm -hmm. to get rid of anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, dirty language. Don't lie to each other. Mm -hmm. For you have stripped off your old sinful nature and all its wicked deeds. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your creator and become like him. That is so important. Yes. It is so important in this time that we are living. We really have to put off, put on. 
as we are making room, we are making room for the voice of God, for the person of Christ in our lives. Now it's our choice. That's right. The Holy Spirit can do it for us. He will help us. He's a counselor. He's a support system. But we must <laughs> make a decision for those of us who are always angry mm. or always complaining and grumbling or finding fault mm. or have so much issues. We have to take the responsibility to remove these things. And, and it's so interesting, as you said, that we, because, you know, if I want to, I want to encourage you to read Colossians chapter three. Mm -hmm. In fact, the book of Colossians is only four chapters. It's, it's like, it's like a half an hour read for some people, maybe less for others, but I want to encourage you. But that <coughs> passage really brings us to a place of, okay, I'm going to put this off. That cannot be named among me. But because I have been born of the spirit and the life of Christ is now living in me and that is not in him. Mm -hmm. So when we start walking by faith, yes, mm -hmm. walking with God by faith, mm -hmm. things, some things cannot be named among us. So let's make room. Yes. If you intend to walk in faith, intend to hear God's voice, you need to make room. For his voice mm. and for his spirit to rise above everybody else. 